I'm not yeah. scared. Yeah, I'll, I'll but I'm you usually do. scared. They just keep yeah, going possible and say What it is, guys. It's your boy Blasphemous HD, aka Tyrone Koppel, 100% legitimate in field investigative reporter. Reporting on something today that I would not be caught 10 feet dead next to. Keep it real with y'all. If anything look even kind of spooky, it's every man for himself. And if that doesn't work, then we're switching to Operation Human Shield. <laughs> Make sure to go check out Nukes. Let's do this. Before my popcorn get cold. A few months ago, a woman named Rosanna bought an old apartment somewhere in France and moved in with her two very young children and her 13-year-old cat, Loli. But almost immediately after moving into the new place, her cat begins to act very strangely. The cat, Loli, aggressively hisses and snarls at something that Rosanna can't see. Now, Rosanna says that the cat had never done anything like this before they moved. So as a single mother, Rosanna shares custody of her children with their father. So one night when the children are away at their dad's house, something happens that makes Rosanna's blood run cold. Even though Rosanna is completely alone, she hears her young daughter's voice calling out to her from the children's bedroom. The voice repeats, Mama, over and over. But strangest of all, the voice seems to be coming from an old radio that doesn't even have batteries inside. After this absolutely terrifying experience, Rosanna decides to share her story online in search of advice. She also calls for help from a local priest. The scared mother is now desperate to try absolutely anything to get rid of the sinister entity that seems to be haunting her home. But nothing seems to help. In fact, it just gets much, much worse. How did it get worse than that? That's not good. What's really good, man? Help. Just gonna look at it. It's gonna follow us the whole time. Pizza chip. We don't like your kind around here. Not black people, ghosts. I wasn't scared. That's just the adrenaline. All right. The head of a dressing mannequin that Rosanna has had for years moves on its own and seems to follow her with its eyes as she moves around the room. Rosanna feels that the apartment is no longer safe for her children and decides to stay in the home all alone. No. Eventually, she becomes so scared that she starts to only sleep in the apartment's living room. But then, late one night, Rosanna hears her cat Loli angrily snarling at something in the hallway just outside the living room door. What happens next is downright chilling. Let's go. 
That's how you feel? Loli. After this very disturbing incident, Rosanna says that she became seriously ill and spent the rest of the night throwing up. She says she is absolutely convinced that the old apartment she bought is haunted by a demon. For now, she stays at a hotel with her cat until she can hopefully afford to move somewhere else. She says she's currently seeking legal action against the people who sold her that apartment. Yeah, sue them. The thing in the basement. Sue them for a new Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, we'll call her Jane, reached out to us about a very creepy experience she had in her family home in Norway. So while Jane is in the basement grabbing some tools for her brother, she hears something that puts her on edge. She hits record on her phone as she investigates. And what happens next is truly bizarre. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little So... Kafan. Hello? What was it, babe? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. You got it. You got it. I'm a god. I'm a lead. You got it, bruh. So we are spell it. So we have the group. Hello? They are in you know? It's not the people in here. I don't like this. Hello? Okay. Oh. Fun. Mother. Fox, got it. Was that Smeagol from Lord of the Rings? Hello? Sound like the chick for the ring. Listen. Okay, I'm going to go Jane hears several weird screeches coming from somewhere near her in the basement. And then as she leaves, the door seems to slam shut on its own. But did you see it? Jane looks into a mirror two times while walking through the basement. The first time, there's nothing out of the ordinary. But the second time, something seems to be standing in the doorway right behind her. To this day, Jane has no idea what happened, but says that the experience gave her the creeps. Now again, Jane says she has never posted this video anywhere online and wishes to remain anonymous. So I have to leave it up to you. Do you think Jane captured something paranormal? And if not, then just who or what is this? Up in smoke. It's around 11.30 at night and Jocelyn is working in a smoke shop in central Alabama when she hears a noise coming from the back of the store. Guys, I'm working by my f***ing self and I hear a noise in the back. What the f***, bro? Something can be seen moving around in the storage area in the back. After posting the video online, shocked viewers asked Jocelyn to check the security footage of the camera in the back. Now, whatever this is, it doesn't show up on camera. But about four hours later, in the middle of the night, 
She was quick as shit. Hell to the nizzle. When the stores closed and empty, this. this happens. What do you mean this happens? It gets worse? No, it better not be fast. Sheesh, okay. They're throwing furniture, boys. And around four in the morning, a ladder falls over by itself and a pillow seems to appear out of nowhere and just drops down the stairs. Word. Now, Jocelyn says that she was so shaken up that she has no intentions of ever returning to work at the store and might actually just quit her job. <laughs> but is this real paranormal activity caught quit. on camera? You'll never or hear from me is again. it all just an elaborate hoax? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you decide. I shit myself Too close for comfort. We watching the movie. Amateur I paranormal investigators Jared, his brother David, and a friend get together one night to investigate Jared's own house in Blackpool, England. You see, Jared claims that he has experienced some creepy, unexplained events. And Any man that wears a shirt that says blow me for good luck is obviously living life on the wild side. The edge. He's obviously grimy, get him. In the house. So Jared's brother David is holding an SLS camera with built-in night vision when he walks through the downstairs area to see if the camera maps out any strange figures. But then something happens that absolutely freaks out everyone. Using the uh, night vision camera on the SLS, uh, so that's why they're still behind me, because we don't want to keep mapping them. Exactly. We want to see what we can map ourselves. I don't do none of this. Yeah, I mean, where I'm from, back when I was younger, when I joined the Mafia. So we walked around the room, Dave. We didn't know. do we any of some mobs in there. Last time was up here. Yeah, Wait, did that I'm up to see some mobs there. Yeah. You never know. We're back. We're stuck on two of the K2 here. K2, what was yeah, that? Yeah, we've got Jeff Gannis doing the K2. He's got a couple of lights on it, you know, so we yeah. don't know. I'm not yeah. scared. Yeah, I'll But I'm usually do. scared. They just keep yeah, going so past them and say, Whoa! What the hell? Did I just see something or did, am I imagining that? I don't know, let's go. <coughs> What's what the hell? Hell? Grab the blinky. I don't know. It was, to me it looked like a face. Dave? Was mm. it our face? I thought, I, I thought I saw something. That was really quick, was really uh, spooky. As David pans around the living room, he captures what appears to be a bizarre pale face peeking out from behind the door to the hallway. The group looks That's through the, the house and even attempts to with. debunk what they you know what just I mean? saw, but they can find no explanation as to what this is. Hell no is what that is. Oh shit, look at his eyes. Antoine's restaurant. Isabel Riley recently told a very creepy story online so and it followed it up with one of the creepiest pictures you'll ever see. I need to tell you guys about the most insane evidence that I have ever seen of a ghost existing. Backstory. I was at a company get together with my CEOs, my coworkers, and one of the owners of the company. Val looked at us and was like, hey, do you guys want to see a ghost picture? Immediately, yes. He begins to tell us that he was in New Orleans at a restaurant called Antoine's. New Orleans, first of all, super haunted city. If you know, you know. Um, and Antoine's is one of the oldest restaurants in the city. One of the oldest restaurants, I believe, in America. It has a lot of history. It used to be a jail. It is a really well-established place, has been around forever. So he's dining at this restaurant and he is offered a tour of the wine cellar. The wine cellar is huge, has thousands of bottles of wine, probably worth millions of dollars. So he's taking a tour of the wine cellar, he's taking pictures. There's this guy in the wine cellar on a laptop who is apparently at auction buying more rare wine for the collection. My CEO takes pictures of this guy on his laptop, doesn't think anything of it, he doesn't see anything, leaves the restaurant, calls it a day. The next morning he's looking through the photos and notices something. So this is the first picture that he showed me from the wine cellar. You can see this guy who is on his laptop at auction doing whatever. And here is the next picture that he took. Um, so we all see that. That is a full body apparition it looks like a woman in this like black Victorian dress. Oh God! And 
when I was showed this. That is not the place to browse the internet. You need to find a Chick-fil-A with Wi-Fi signal, quick. I genuinely had full body chills. So just who could the creepy alleged ghost woman dressed all in black in the photo be? For that, we go into the history of the restaurant. Antoine Alciatore opened his restaurant all the way back in 1840. Then in 1875, Antoine passed away when he was only 55 years old. When he died, he left his wife, Julie, in charge of the restaurant. Oh, fancy, so could this be Julie's spirit still looking over the restaurant from beyond the grave? Well, let me know what you think. Yeah, same dress. Bye, Felicia. One night, Felicia Hall is out on her back deck playing with her dog when things get weird. Out of nowhere, Felicia hears something that sounds like someone whispering right in her ear. Something that says, get out. As you can tell in the video, Felicia is absolutely terrified and screams and hurries back inside, leaving her dog to wonder what just happened. So did Felicia get an angry supernatural warning? You decide. Revenants and Renovations A man who works as a nurse at the IMSS Hospital in Manzanillo, Mexico was taking a tour of the recently renovated Clinic No. 10. Now the old hospital was built in 1932 and has seen its share of death and suffering for over 90 years. So the nurse is filming with his phone as he walks through the renovated clinic. Later, when he reviews his footage of the old hospital, he spots something that sends a chill down his spine. Something resembling a small pale face can be seen peeking around the corner in clinic number 10. The man is shocked. He says that he never noticed this strange face while filming. The man's aunt posted his video to the internet, and many viewers believe that he might have captured the spirit of a patient who passed away at the old hospital. Patient was ashy as hell, man. Looked like he just woke up from ground zero. The second coming of Ashy Larry, bro. Good lord. He'd be a shoe in for the World Series of Dice at the Marshy Projects. Unearthed. This next creepy story has been going viral and actually made international news. So, TikTok user Katie Santry from Columbus, Ohio woke up one morning to find that things in her home office seem to have been mysteriously moved around. I think my house is haunted and I'm freaking out. Like I'm literally shaking. This is my sunroom. This is where I work. I sit here every day. There's a playroom here, doors here. This is the space. I worked in here last night until about 6.30. Everything was fine, shut my laptop. We closed these doors so the dogs don't come in here at night. No one is in this room. I'm down this morning to work. The screen shattered. This stuff, down here. This, hanging off. Here's the next bit of but important information. So we're building a fence and back here, we dug a hole. There is a rolled up carpet buried underground that we came across as we were digging this hole. Rolled up carpet. Who the f and why the f is there a rolled up carpet underground? Katie shares her strange story online and viewers suggest that there just might be something more buried in the yard inside that rug. How deep is that? Like at least two feet? Almost, yeah. Oh, right now. At the intense urging of thousands of video commenters, Katie decides to call the police to check out the rug. Just in case. Oh, there. Yeah, see the tassel over there. It's like the end of the... Jeez, I don't even know. Carpet. I was just saying it's not, you know, technically a 
that's six feet long. Oh, oh yeah. No, there's just something like weird. Now, Katie says that she thinks the rug is a bit strange, but she doesn't really think it's anything suspicious. That is, until Columbus detectives arrive at her house with cadaver-sniffing dogs. Two cadaver dogs both signal and sit on the area where the rug was found, indicating that the dogs believe that there is a body there. And this is when Katie's casual story about a paranormal haunting and a buried rug starts to get a bit out of control. In fact, Katie's story becomes international news. In a series of videos garnering millions of views, Katie Santry shared she may have discovered a body buried in a rug in her yard. The entire thing blew up on TikTok this week. The investigation stemming from social media police in Columbus saw a woman's TikTok showing she and her husband found this rug buried in her yard. She reached out to police. Well, police showed up with cadaver dogs. Even after the first dog sat, I really didn't think the second dog was gonna do it too. I thought maybe it was just an accident. And when the second dog did it too, uh, I, I freaked out. I think it is absolutely crazy for something to happen like in our area like this. Understandably, Katie is completely overwhelmed as a homicide team arrives at her property to dig. This is crazy, okay. It might not mean anything yet. Okay. Wait and see what the interpretation of the results are. Okay. Again. Oh so homicide is here and missing persons and now CSI is bringing the shovels out. And I can see a news camera set up over there. Okay, they're digging. They've been digging. And there's six of them. Some of them are in the hole. Katie's viewers watch and wait for hours as the homicide team carefully digs out and examines pieces of the stained carpet. You guys, they have recovered the hole and this has been the most absurd, insane experience of my life. What did they find? No, they didn't find a body. They found a mother effing rug with some rubber. The question remains of why did the dogs hit? I don't know. Both dogs, not just one, two. I don't know. The other question remains is who broke my laptop? So Katie is happy with the news that the Columbus homicide team has not found anything suspicious buried with the rug. But viewers that followed Katie's story and even some news reporters are just not completely convinced. Okay, so the update is they took the rug. Okay. Police did. They did not find a body huh. yet. Yeah, what do you mean yet? Because the dog's marked on the rug, so there has to have been a body at some point. I don't believe for a second they didn't find anything in that rug. Not for a single second. I think she was posting too much about it, so they decided not to tell her what they found. Or, because they took it away for forensics, it was a mirror on the rug, no body. I don't believe for a second there was nothing on that rug. So even though police say the rug was fine, there's still some skepticism and some outright conspiracy theories about that rug. But what do you think? Alone? Maddie Magarachi says that his house in Monroe Township, New Jersey is very haunted. In fact, Maddie has been posting about the strange activity in his home for over four years. One night, Maddie is home alone with his dogs when strange things start to happen. What's going on? <laughs> Maddie's parents are away on vacation, leaving him all alone in the house. And something else happens that makes his blood run 
cold. So these are just a couple of the many videos that Maddie has shared online over the last four years. So could it be that Maddie's house is actually haunted by is something? Is or is, is it all owl? just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. Is a bird? Well, that was today's compilation of me saying hell to the no while watching ghost videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blast Mercedes D. Twizam.